Hello, everyone. Now you're going to find out if that 30 second ad was worth the content. Welcome to a no. Game Marks trial. <laughs> I'm Mike. I'm Cicely. I'm Dylan. We are checking out UpBot Goes Up. Redundant title is redundant. Who is going to play? I play. Oh. I hate women. Which is good, because this well, is Well, I uh... think you just hit the button, oh. so... Once Sorry. again... <laughs> play with any controller is always nice. I'm gonna try with medium. I think they're all oh. locked at this point. Like, I think, at least in the trial, there's no way to get that far. But, um... I'm glad, because this is a puzzle game, and it's hard to talk while trying to figure out a puzzle. Well, most of the puzzles are pretty easy, and you only need one hand, yeah. thankfully. So, so basically, you've got a bunch of blocks on your playing field, and the blocks only go one direction. And you move them a color at a time. There's make... some block-on-block -block action required. Yes, they can be used to move other blocks. Is block partying? Block rocking beats. This, the jokes just aren't getting any better. The blocks like to move it, move it. So there's this block, <laughs> and it has an up arrow on it, and it goes up and only up. Well, it's, it's like a double entendre. Or it's quite possibly gay. Um, it, it flies a little rainbow flag at the end. Wow, you're completely taking this in a uh, different direction. <laughs> Indeed. I'm um, just pointing out the fact that when the block goes up, there's a little rainbow celebration. It's either into My Little Ponies, or it's a pride parade. Nothing wrong with it, not judging the blocks. If the blocks can fly, why do we have the to go through this? blocks can fly their freak flag. Because they got to get through their launch pads. Uh, um, that's kind of cool. Just playing the first six levels... Basically, they're they're built to teach you, you know, how the game works. So I'm not exactly sure what the difficulty curve is going to be like. Well, this seems like it could have an insane high end potential. Oh yeah, because it's not just moving blocks, right? You got to think about which ones to move first. Oh yeah, it, it can get like it, I think she just screwed up there because she's going to need the red block up one to move the middle block out. Yep. I like the fact that you can undo and restart pretty painlessly. Yeah, yeah, you should point that out. That It's, it's pretty easy to back up a move. But, I mean, you saw there were like four or five difficulty levels and, uh... A lot you know, of levels. We're only playing like... Six, maybe? Six, seven, eight here. I can't remember. And you've also got these uh, blocks that basically teleport your blocks. It seems like the blocks try to give you a hint because one of them will do something, whichever one it thinks you should do first. I haven't noticed that. I've noticed that um, if you bump two blocks against each other, they'll flash, but that may actually be a hint that I was completely misreading what it was. What's with the little purple blocks? They're warps. I think you may have missed something. I think there. I did. Like the you're you're gonna have to get the blue block under the green block. There it is. Yeah, warp him over, then yellow him up. Okay, I remember how to do this one. Let's see. And that little sound sound you heard was my, um, the thing telling me, no, you don't actually have... I think you may have, uh, gone too far. Like, 
back up until your uh, your blue block is in the middle there. Like undo. I don't think it's bad yet. No, she's fine. Move it over, and it moves us up, and move him in. Yeah, just run him out now. Oh. Move the yellow up. I can't move the yellow up. Because the, the one at the top, like they're in a diagonal line, and the one at the top oh, they won't all the way stop. up to the top. Yeah. So what you want to do is, is undo until... Oops. Is there a you done screwed it up button? Yeah. That would be the right bumper. Ooh, I did not know you could get the 3D view. So we go like that. Okay, so I'm gonna try this way. Okay, yeah, that's it. And now you've got them in a diagonal row. This All one right. was a doozy. Well, the, it, it, at least in the early levels, uh, the title actually gives you a hint. I like trains. So you move the red and the blue over above the yellow. And then, yeah. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. That makes it fun, though. Cooperation. This one is kind of crazy. Let's see. I think you need to come help you. Almost made that messed up. Okay. Move the blue block two spaces to the left, and then move the green block all the way down. Oh, okay, and then yeah, blue block him. Yeah. It's really... Up, bot goes up. What's funny is they're, they're very, very simple mechanics, but there's a lot that you can do. Like, when I first started playing, I was like, eh, okay, I don't see how they're going to get, you know, all these levels out of it, but... Okay, yeah, you've got to go, because you're the only one who can really do something. Yep, and you can oh, actually it rotated turn... Him. That uh, goes left. <laughs> yeah, see, this is where it can really, like, this one's an easy one just to to show you the concept, right? But you can see where this that could just... easily. I mean, imagine two of the same color, but they've been rotated, so one push is going multiple directions. Yeah. And this game looks like it probably will go there with all those difficulty levels. Um. This has been Up Blocks Go Up. Thank you everyone for watching.